I hadn't expected this book to have um, a major kind of German thread, but Germany, that was silly because Germany was the sovereign of two-thirds of the territories that came under mandate. So all, the, all of Germany's Pacific colonies and all of Germany's colonies in Africa um, were occupied by uh, Allied powers in the First World War, and those Allied powers then received the mandate for those territories and governed them. And the Germans um, at the peace conference had asked for those territories back. They said they'd be perfectly willing to govern them under ideas of trusteeship and the sacred trust, but they wanted them back. And obviously the Allied powers weren't willing to give them back, and instead they promised that they would be governed according to these international rules. That was in answer to anti-colonial sentiment and also in answer to um, Wilson's pressure on the Allies. But the Germans never stopped caring about these. There was a big uh, colonial movement in Germany that sprung up to reclaim these territories. And um, they also, once they entered the League in 1926, put a great deal of effort into trying to shape the way the mandate system worked. So Germany very unexpectedly became the main power pushing um, to limit the claim to sovereignty by the Allied powers in the territories. They were the force behind international control, internationalizing, they all, uh, internationalizing the um, uh, economy in particular. They pushed for economic access to all these territories. So a little bit what we see as the post-war developments of kind of um, in economic internationalization you can see developing under German pressure partly in the 20s.